Hi, I'm Phoebe Welburn. I'm here at the Welburn Gourd Farm in Fallbrook, California. It is now April and our new crop has just been brought in. We have a lot of new gourds in the racks. You can see behind me, they're all full. And so we're gonna just do a little sneak peek and um, check out some of the beautiful new gourds. We're really, really excited about this year's crop. We have um, two people in charge of gourd growing. Well, we have lots of people in charge of gourd growing, but our main two people, um, Daniel Barajas Sr. He's been growing our gourds for over 30 years and um, his son, um, Danny Jr. He's our operations manager. A lot of you have talked to him on the phone or at the farm. And so they've both just knocked, they've just gone above and beyond this year. Our gourds are fantastic. So let's take a look at some of them. Um, if you're coming for Ipuheke Ole, those gourds that you, um, if, if you don't know what Ipuheke Ole is, it's a, it's a gourd used in the Hawaiian culture. They use it when they're, um, the, the dancers will have like, it's a drum actually. So they'll take a bottle gourd and they'll cut the top off and it becomes an instrument. So we have beautiful gourds for that. You can see some of them here in the racks. And of course, if you don't want them for Ipuheke Ole, they make beautiful, like you could cut it and make a pot, um, all kinds of things you can do. You can cut the top and make a little mini vase. Um, but we have really, really beautiful gourds this year. We're really excited about them. And let's see. I just, they're just, they're all just gorgeous. Gorgeous gourds. Um, I have to show you, there's some really fantastic big gourds. The big gourds tend to go first. So if you are interested in bigger gourds, we recommend you get to the farm. Um, here's a really awesome one. You can see, just gorgeous. And here's another one. Might make a really beautiful pot. Uh, let's go check out the canteen gourds. We try to separate them by shape here in the racks. So on this end of the farm, we have all the canteen gourds. Um, here's a really, ugh, really beautiful, large canteen gourd. Uh, our canteen gourds are our thickest gourd, so I can tell by shaking it, it's a really thick gourd, really thick, beautiful gourd. Um, just all of them are really, really pretty. Gorgeous. There's another one. Boy. Canteen gourds will grow, obviously, like a canteen, like a water canteen, very saucer-like. And then sometimes they grow a little taller, which is nice because you get a little bit taller canvas on that gourd. And again, this is a really thick gourd. I can, I can tell by shaking it. Um, really nice and thick, great bottom on it. It's gonna sit flat. This one happens to have a nice stem. There's another, another large one here. But, just, they're all just practically perfect. Um, all right, let's check out some of our other shapes. Here's some more of the, the very large gourds. Um, this one just looks really phenomenal. Kind of a pear shape on, the, on that one. Oh, just, they're just fantastic. Look at them. Oh, this one I can tell is a nice thick gourd. Can make a really pretty pot. You can cut in there. He's pretty thick too, good for carving. Again, these gourds tend to go first, so we encourage you to come to the farm if you can. Oh, I might take them first though. I have to admit, my mother and I, we are gourd hoarders and we'll see a beautiful gourd and we'll just take it away and hold it for a while. And then we get too many of them and then they come back to the racks, but oh, beautiful. Really, really thick shell gourds. Okay, let's see what else we can find here. And this time of year in April, most of the most of the new crop gourds, actually all the new crop gourds, are not going to be washed yet. The reason is because we have a lot of um, orders, like we're back ordered on a lot of orders, and those are first in line to get washed. So if you're looking for just washed gourds, you're probably going to have to wait till maybe July. Um, 
but we recommend trying to get here earlier than that and maybe just washing some of your own because you do get the best selection. So just a little insider tip here. We have really great mini gourds this year. They're just so perfect. Look at this one. It's just, this one technically isn't a mini gourd. It's probably like a six inch gourd, between a five and a six inch gourd. I love these. They make really pretty vases. You just cut the top off. Really pretty gourds. We have a whole bunch of these. They look like a certain candy made by Hershey's. I probably can't say it on film because I'll have to pay a royalty or something, but you get the idea. Um, even some of these, we don't actually get this very often. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen like a little canteen gourd this small. It's really thick, just like our canteen gourds. Here's another one. Just all kinds of great shapes here with the mini gourds. Um, here's another little baby canteen. Oh, I love these little pears. They make really pretty little vases. Actually, that one's got a little shell damage, but here's another really pretty pair. People ask about the stems a lot. Because the gourds get handled so much, and even like when they're in the bins, they're getting moved around, the stems will break quite often, unfortunately. But if you come to the farm, you can just, you can find them on the ground. You know, we don't charge you for them. You can pick them up off the ground and take some with you if you happen to find gourds that don't have a stem and you want a stem. Um, if you're if you're just shopping online, we do sell stems. We are we actually put a dowel in inside the stem so that all you have to do is drill a hole in your gourd and the dowel fits and it looks just like the actual stem of the gourd. So that's another option. Um, okay, let's look at some more shapes. Oh, these are really pretty over here. Oh, look at them all, they're gorgeous. Look at that pear gourd. So pretty. Ugh. They're thick, I can tell when I pick them up, but they're thick. It's just, just perfect. Just, we just have a, just a fantastic crop this year. I can't wait for everybody to see them. It's a nice little one. We call this shape a kettle shape. Um, I think online we call it like a pear, like a, like it would be a short pear. Um, but usually when we refer to it here at the farm, we call it a kettle. Let's look at some of these over here. Now here's some more bigger ones. Just really thick, nice tall body gourd here. Um, oh, here's another one of those kettle gourds. Oh, it's just perfect. Really pretty. This is gonna have a beautiful shell. You can see um, a lot of our gourds will have these really beautiful natural markings. It's the way that the skin dries. So like here where the, the skin like split as it was drying, it could have a nice little line in there once it's washed. It's a little hard to tell before I wash it, but um, yeah, like here where the, the skin off. Really thick, really thick gourd. All right, on with the tour. Whoops, on with the tour. Gosh, I just see perfect gourds everywhere I turn. Another really nice pear gourd. Another one. Just gourds everywhere. I don't know if you're getting the impression, but if you look back over here, you can just see racks and racks. We actually grow over 350,000 gourds every year. They do take a full year to grow and then dry out. But this is the time of year that, that um, you find the best selection. We do continue to bring in gourds all year long. Some people don't know that. They think it's just, you know, one time the whole crop gets brought in. We actually don't have enough space to bring in the whole crop. Plus, um, they actually don't all dry at once. So. This is a good portion of them, but we continue to bring them in all year long. So if you're on our mailing list, you'll get a notice whenever we bring in, you know, a new, a new truckload. More really, really nice kettle gourds here. You can see, just perfect. 
really, really thick. And I, I didn't plant these anywhere. I didn't arrange this ahead of time before we filmed. I'm just walking to the racks and pulling up beautiful gourds. Um, so this is what you'll find when you, when you come. Really, really nice gourds. Really thick, beautiful shells. Let's see if we can find some of our tall body gourds here. Some gourd shapes, you can't plan for them. Like this particular shape, it looks like a, kind of like a pear, um, but it's got a more rounded shape to it. It looks like it was perhaps crossed with a cannonball. Um, and we don't plant for that, it just, it just happens. So sometimes you find shapes that you don't ever see again. They're just specialty shapes that only come along once every 10 years or something. Depends on how, how the gourds cross when they're growing. More, you can see over here, more really big gourds. Just sometimes like you can see the bigger gourds, they, they tend to be a little bit lumpy sometimes because the weight of them when they're growing, you can see like this was probably on a, a rock or something. So sometimes you'll see that, but a lot of times they, they're perfect. This one, oh goodness. Oh, this one's really thick. <laughs> it's so heavy. Um, anyway, that one looks... It does have a little spot on one side, but he's... I mean, you put him on a gourd stand and just it would make just a perfect pot or like a pitcher. Just really, really nice gourd. Whoops. Good thing they're thick-shelled, too. Um, I love these bottle gourds They because they have a tall body. They just, they make excellent vases. Really pretty. All right, let's keep looking here. Boy. It's a whole bunch of, uh, I just don't know which way to go. They're just so pretty everywhere. <laughs> ah, really, really pretty. Taller body gourds in here. Some more pears. Really nice tall body gourd. Ah, oh, they're so, so pretty. There's another one. There's like, I, I, you probably can't get the impression on camera, but there's like, the whole rack is like this. There's just really, really pretty gourds. And I know if, you, if you're used to seeing them wash, sometimes you can't, you can't you're, you're looking at me holding up these grubby gourds going, what is she talking about? What does she mean they're so pretty? It's just because I know what they look like underneath and that they're just, you know, got these gorgeous shells. And they, again, they're just not very hard to, to wash. Our gourds are known for being really easy to clean. You just soak them in water about five or 10 minutes and use a pot scrubber and it tends to just come right off. So, another tall, pretty gourd. All right, let's see what else we can find. Go back to some of these other racks. And the weather's really nice this time of year too. It's a perfect time of year to come to the farm. Oh. Really, really pretty gourds in here. All right. Yeah. Well, here's a whole rack of the, again, we've got these really nice taller body gourds in here. You can see that one. Another oh, really thick, really thick pear gourd. Really pretty. Oh. Just a little insider tip. I don't know if you can if this if you'll pick it up on camera, but this has a little bit of a green tinge to it. This outside dried skin on the gourd, it has a tiny bit of a green tinge. And for whatever reason, I find that the shells on those are usually pretty thick. I don't know, I don't know what that, what makes it that way. You'll see this on our canteen gourd a lot because our canteen is known for being extra thick, but even on other shapes, 
look for that little green green tinge. It's not always the case. You can find a thick shell gourd that doesn't have that, but I find it's a good tell for if you're looking for like thick gourds for carving. Oh, look at this pear gourd. So pretty. Here's another one with a little green tinge. Isn't he cute? Look at how cute. Really cute. Really, really nice pear gourds. There's a nice tall body gourd. A little off center, but he's still pretty nice. Let's see here. I love these little body gourds with that tall body. They're just so cool looking. Here's a nice, nice tall one. It's gonna have a really pretty shell underneath. You can see that nice golden shell. Ah, beautiful pear gourd. Okay. Another Look and more of these really big gourds. Look at this size of this gourd. Really, really pretty. Okay. Really pretty tall body gourds. All right, so you gotta come to the farm. Um, and just for people who cannot come to the farm, my sympathies, uh, but if you can't come to the farm and you're waiting for the new crop gourds, those are gonna be a while. Like I said, we don't sell any gourds online that have not been washed. That's just for quality control so we can make sure there's no cracks or anything in them. And because our cleaning department is backed up until end of July, it's gonna take a while for those new crop gourds to um, be online. But be patient, they're worth the wait, and um, if you stay posted on our newsletter, you'll get a notice whenever that we have a new um, box. So for example, large canteen gourds back in stock. You just sign up for those back in stock notices and you'll get a reminder the minute they are put back in stock online. So hopefully you'll be able to come to the farm or just order online and get some of these beautiful new crop gourds. We're the largest organic gourd farm in the world and hopefully you can come out um, someday to the farm and purchase your gourds in person. We have thousands of gourds available. If you're not able to visit the farm, we do ship gourds around the world and we're happy to ship your gourds to you. They always arrive clean and craft ready. And we appreciate you taking time to visit our farm here online.